What's up, party people? Welcome to the show. Lots to talk about today. Is this the time of year when you are supposed to sell your home? The summer market is here. It is here. It is absolutely here. But what does that actually mean? What does it mean uh, that there is a certain time of year to sell or to buy or to not sell or not buy? Is it true? Does that serve you? Is that a bogus stereotype? We're going to get into it today, and my uh, my intuition, Ian, tells me we're probably going to get into some of the details of uh, what are the different ways to sell, how can you be more successful uh, than others, and why is it that we have tens of thousands of real estate agents uh, and tens of thousands of different ways to sell a house, different ways to buy a house. I call that show prep, but you can call it intuition. Yeah. Well, you know, we uh, we do tens of seconds of show prep here at DFW Real Estate Weekly, mostly because of our producer, Peanut, uh, and all the research <laughs> that she, she puts in. Hey, folks, if you've got questions, you know how to get them to us. 214-310-0008. 214-310-0008. Zero 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 eight, or you can find us online all the times at toddtremontiteam.com, just like my son says. Toddtremontiteam.com. Toddtremontiteam.com, or Google it. You don't even have to know how to spell it. I bet you if you get real close, Todd Tremonti will, uh, will find you, find us on the Google box, and then you can call any number, fill out any form, and uh, get the answers to your questions. But we're talking about selling a home today. Now, if you are not in a situation right now, where you want to sell a home. Stay tuned though, because there's a lot of information we're gonna to cover today that is relevant to you and your property value, uh, you and your dream of home ownership, you and your strategy around investment. So I want you to pay very, very close attention. And uh, if you have questions, make sure that you send them to us. This first segment is brought to you by Patrick Glarus and his mortgage team over at Cardinal Financial. Whether you are looking to uh, take out a mortgage on purchasing a home, maybe you're getting an investment property, maybe you want to refinance, reach out to Patrick and his team. PatrickGlarus.com is where you can go. You can start an application right there on the website. You can call them at 972-728-3420, NMLS number 308-804, PatrickGlarus.com. I love how fast you say NMLS. Um, here's the thing, folks. We need you to vote on a very, very important issue here in the studio, here in the offices. I don't know if you know this, but our radio studio is in our real estate brokerage office here in our Richardson, Texas office. We have an office in Fort Worth office in Richardson for the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. Our studio is right here in our Richardson office. It uh, doubles as the primary office for producer Peanut. And we need your vote. We need your vote. So if you're driving, do this later. But find us on Facebook or Instagram. Instagram or Todd Trem at Todd Tremonti Realtors. On Facebook, just find our page, Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. And we need you to vote. You can you can write whatever you want. We just need one word for what producer Courtney's nickname should be. Current voting options are... Full price Courtney. Full price Courtney, which is totally appropriate. She just loves, loves expensive, expensive, nice things. Um, not at a discount. Not at a discount. Why would you... <laughs> Why would you take a discount? Why would you, you even ask for one? All right. Full price Courtney is number one. You, you've been going with what lately? Just court. Just court feels a little intimate. I'm not, we're not, we're friends. We're, but just, like okay, court is an option. Feels natural just to say New court. New entry today, Peanut. We're trying that one on. That still doesn't feel right. Uh, we had Classy Courtney for a while. So those are your four choices. And feel free to add a fifth if you feel like in the 12 words Courtney said on the air lately, you've gotten to know her and have a feel for another nickname. But we've got Full Price Courtney. Court, classy Courtney, peanut, and a choose your own adventure. So you just find us on Instagram at Todd Tremonti Realtors or on Facebook. Just go to Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team or you can find the radio show page, whatever. We're all over these things. And you, we just need one word from you. Do you have a, do you have a favorite peanut? Um, I just, peanut is a, is an oldie. In my life, I gotta be honest. I don't. I, it feels weird saying it. I don't. And so I don't know that it it <clears throat> fits currently. I like Triple C. Yep. Her name is Courtney Clark Cleveland. Oh, I don't know if you wanted to. Courtney Clark that. Cleveland. No, they, do know. Know. <laughs> they know. They know not. Her address is. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, Triple C. Uh, we need to move on with some real estate stuff, but we need your vote, people, because this we, is serious. It's like what is it's like I, schizophrenia around I, right. here. I'm just calling I'm just her all like sorts of different floating stuff. Floating yeah. without a nickname. Okay. Okay. So, and I call almost no one by their real name. It's it's a thing. So help us out. Uh, let us know what you think. Full price Courtney, classy Courtney, court, peanut. Or choose your own adventure. All for Cor producer Courtney's nickname. All right. Uh, if you have real estate questions, send them in 214-310-0008. Call or text 214-310-0008. One of the, I think, common misconceptions that people have is that the absolute best time to sell in real estate is the summer. So naturally, more and more homes will generally come on the market during the summer months as we lead up there. Is that true? Is that false? I know we've said before, like, me and you have always bought and sold winter time. That's yep. just historically when we've done it. But what do you say to the idea that the summer is the absolute best time? So let me let me give you an annoying answer that's not direct. The most direct answer I can get is summertime is a great time to sell, but it is not the best time of year to sell just because it's summer. Just because school's out or people are slightly more flexible with work schedules or they're taking a couple more vacations. That's that is not a reason that makes the summertime the best time to sell. I prefer to buy and sell in late fall, early winter because I can take advantage of the market conditions, I can still sell high, and I can buy a little bit lower. There's lack of confidence, there's a little bit less clarity in the strategy from other sellers and other buyers, so I'm able, I'm able to win. Now, the reason that summertime is a great time to sell is that's when most buyers are in the market. Even if they're in the market for the wrong reasons, and usually the wrong reasons are this same stereotype. They're like, well, that's that's what I'm supposed to do, right? Now, some of the some good reasons are it's easier to move when the kids are out of school and I don't have to be driving, dropping kids off and meeting movers and then picking them. That I get the logic of just the logistics of that, but. Uh, you know, you can move on a weekend. Kids don't typically go to school on the weekend. So I, I know that's a clunky answer, but the answer is there's no statistical reason necessarily that summertime's the best time to sell, but it is a great time to sell because that it is typically the highest activity in the real estate market throughout the year, meaning there are the most buyers and sellers transacting real estate at that time. That that by itself is not necessarily an advantage, but there's a lot of good things that come with that. So more more buyers in the market, does that mean that, they, that you're gonna be able to sell your home for more? It could mean that, and the, what I'm not dancing around or anything, I just don't wanna tell you something that's not true. The reason there's no yes, no answer is because real estate is wildly more complex than that, right? It definitely means you have a better chance of having a competitive buyer situation where you have more buyers that want to buy your home because there are more buyers in the market, right? Um, if you go fishing and there's more fish in the area, you have a better chance of fishing. It doesn't mean you're a great fisherman, and that's the parallel here. You can still do a really bad job of selling a house when the most buyers are out there. And you can do a great job of selling a house when there's fewer buyers out there, which is what you and I said we do. There's less buyers going to open houses and, sh and viewing homes in November, but that's when I prefer to sell because I know my marketing will still find a great buyer. And that's what we do for our clients at the Tatramani Home Selling Team all the time. We still guarantee to sell your home over the average price and under the average time, fall, winter, spring, summer, all year long, any home, anywhere, as long as we agree to work with each other, we'll guarantee to sell it over the average price and under the average time. For that reason, there's not one season that's right or wrong, but summer is a great time to both buy and sell. If you've not looked at your home insurance, your auto insurance recently, uh, reach out to DP Lambert over at Goosehead Insurance. Uh, he can shop it around for you. Uh, him and his team will, will make sure that they get you the absolute best price with the best quality coverage that you can possibly get. DP.Lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T at Goosehead.com, DP.Lambert at Goosehead.com. They've saved me thousands of dollars over the years uh, just by simply doing what they say, which is ensuring that we get the absolute best coverage for the best price. DP.Lambert at Goosehead.com. Love me some DP. Hey, folks, uh, we've got a bunch of questions specific to how you sell and what process helps you get more money and sell faster. And we're going to dig into those here in just a second. 
with more DFW real estate here on WBAP. But I've got a, a kind of an announcement I want everyone to know, especially if you're in the Richardson, Texas area right now. The Richardson area Young Life garage sale is happening right now, the rest of the day today and also tomorrow. And we love Richardson Young Life. 100% of the proceeds, no cost, no uh, no loss of, of income there. All of the money raised from this garage sale goes to pay for children in Richardson, mostly high school students, but some junior high and even some teen moms to get to go to summer camp with Young Life and hear the greatest news ever told. That God loves them, that he sent his son to die for their sins, and that regardless of what fear and anxiety and hopelessness they may be dealing with in their life, that there is hope and there is eternal hope for them. So they get a chance to go to Colorado or North Carolina and see creation, uh, beautiful creation outside of their normal environment and be told over seven days the wonder that is there is a God that loves them regardless of the decisions they've made and that has sacrificed his son for them, has paid the price so that, so that they can have a relationship with him, they can have a life of purpose and of meaning and of eternal significance. We would love for you to head over to the Richardson area Young Life garage sale and grab um uh, a couch, a television, a golf club, a board game, whatever it is, there's actually some really, really good stuff. We don't accept um, undesirable items. So it's not just a bunch of leftover garbage. Young Life does this very cool thing every year where uh, they'll drive out and pick up nice excess possessions from people and take them to this commercial space where we uh, sell it all to uh, help raise funds to serve kiddos in our area uh, by sending them to camp. Now, Young Life is serving those kids all year long, but summer camp is one of the really cool things. Ian, tell them where they can go. 300 North Coit Road, right here in Richardson. It's uh, units number 131 and 135, 300 North Coit Road, open till five o'clock today. And then tomorrow they will be open from one to five. Uh, come out and support Richardson area kiddos, even if you're not in the Richardson area. Okay, lots of questions about selling. Where do we want to go next? Yeah, I think <clears throat> there's a, a an understanding that people have like, hey, well, maybe it's a misunderstanding really of what people in real estate do to actually sell a home. You know, I think a lot of people just think it's a sign in the yard. Mm -hmm. We'll stick it on kind of the internet and then we'll be done. Yeah, um, reminds me of the movie Office Space, which is a classic. What would you say you do here? Uh, it's a fair question to real estate agents. Like, what what do you do? Um, it's, I wish there was an easier answer, but the true answer is so many real estate agents do so many different things and they do it so many different ways. There's tens of thousands of real estate agents in North Texas right now alone. Many of them are inactive, meaning they're, they're not actively selling day in and day out, but their license itself is active. Many, many, many of them, the vast majority are part-time on some level. Uh, and a very small percentage are full-time working every day, making a full-time living at it. And even out of that group, the full-time making a living out from real estate, even out of that group, the vast majority don't have what you and I might call a business model or a business plan or systems and structure and order. Most of them are still working solo, meaning just entirely by themselves. They, might, they don't have an assistant or staff or maybe even office space. They don't have anyone helping them. So while they're well-intentioned and probably very smart and hardworking, they're really kind of in many ways um, figuring it out on the fly. Or even if they're really, really sharp, every transaction is a little bit different. And, and of course, from negotiation perspective, that's a real reality. Um, but they, they don't have a set standard of process. And I'm not talking about everyone. So if you're a real estate agent and you're listening right now and you've got beautiful systems and help and partners and vendors and all that stuff, great, I'm not talking about you. Um, but I'm, I'm saying this honestly because most of those setups are really not to the advantage of the consumer, to the home seller or the buyer, right? So I think the question you're asking is kind of, what, what do you do to sell a house? And the answer, I mean, depending on who you're asking, everyone could have a different answer. A lot of the same things would overlap, 
but you would see a lot of blank faces because there's no standard systems. And then you'd see, you'd hear a lot of different answers. For us, we have a seven step proprietary marketing system. It's been developed over the last 22 years um, that has been used by our team, the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. It was built for Dallas, Fort Worth. It was built in Dallas, Fort Worth, and it is used day in and day out, hundreds of times per year here in Dallas, Fort Worth with an office in Richardson and an office in Fort Worth. Now, we have coached and consulted and trained and equipped real estate agents all over the United States and Canada to take this model and go and use it in their markets from Florida to California, South Texas, up to Canada. And it's a powerful model to help people sell their homes for way above the average sales price in their market and way faster than the average sales time in their market. There are seven primary steps to our unique system. And there's probably 400 sub steps inside of those seven main areas. And we can get into that if you think that would be helpful or not. But our system obviously is repeatable and we've built it out like a much, much larger business. So as we bring in agents to our team and we try to stay fairly small, um, we can train them on our system. So you might work with one agent on our team and somebody else might work with another, but they're getting very much a very, very similar structure and system and value. And they're getting the support of a team of, you know, 12 or 13 people with staff and marketing specialists and real estate buy side specialists and sell side specialists and brokers and media specialists. And all, I mean, there's a lot of education and training and system and structure so that that agent and the vendor team can deliver a massively more successful experience, dollar amount, uh, and, and outcome for sellers. Yeah. I mean, I was just talking to, it was actually a family member, um, that recently worked with us, uh, my father-in-law did. And, um, by the end of the, the, the time together, he was just like, it was such a, a, a great experience from beginning to end. They actually bought and sold. And so yeah. they worked with David on the, the buy side and Jeremy on the sell side. And really throughout the, the entire way, it was just like, man, that was just such a different experience than what I was expecting for the good. Like it was just, it yeah. was really, really good. And I want to tell people about it. Yeah. We hear a lot like this just wasn't normal because normal to most people, if you're talking about residential real estate is not great, right? Like I've, I bought and sold three or four houses and it's been all right. Or a lot of people have these nightmare scenarios where <clears throat> they did not feel well represented. And, and Ian's talking about a client that's obviously part of his family, but you're, these are sharp people. This is not like the friend that's going to use you no matter what. These are very intelligent people that had a beautiful, unique home that needed and wanted a very well-oiled machine, a really solid system to sell what was a unique property in a unique market. And were really, really pleased because they saw the value in a proven repeatable system with layers of strategy and a proven track record. So if you're looking for something like that, if you're looking for a selling system and people to operate that system in a way that's enjoyable, uh, with high trust and enjoy fun experience with a proven track record where we guarantee to sell your house over the average price and under the average time, just go to toddtremonteteam.com right now or Google Todd Tremonti. You can see over 700 reviews and videos and images and all sorts of things. Call us on any phone number, text any phone number, email us, fill out any form, click any button. We'd be thrilled to serve you, to earn your trust, find out if we are a fit for each other. Uh, we typically have a waiting list on the selling side, but um, as long as we're a great fit for you, we can usually get that in in a timeline that would really, really work well for you. All that starts online, just like my son says, at... Touchermoneyteam.com. Homeserve.com is where you need to go to find all your home warranty needs and information, homeserve.com. Uh, whether it's a, a buyer client of ours, and we are fighting to have Homeserve uh, take care of their home warranty for that first year. Home warranty, just so everybody knows, is it's 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 a unique thing that during that first entire year, you can have it for longer, but most people have it for the first entire year. If you have something go wrong inside your home, you can, instead of having to scramble and try and find who's the best vendor for this, who's the best person for this, just reach out to HomeServe. They'll send somebody over, one of their trusted partners, one of their trusted people, They'll take a look at it for you. You basically, you pay a copay and then they will take care of a bunch of stuff for you. They're not going to do crazy, ex you know, amount of stuff. Yeah. Like fixing an, like, an entire AC unit. That's different. 
but they're going to take care of the things that matter. I always say it makes you sleep better at night, yeah. right? I'm in a new home. I don't really know all the nuances of this house yet. And as I'm figuring that out, if something goes wrong, I just call home serve. They send someone out. They have a lot of leverage with their vendors because they use them yep. thousands of times a year. And I pay a little trip fee, 65, 75 bucks, something like that. And all the major primary systems in my house, I don't have to really worry about. Yep. A lot of people will keep that in year two, three, and four just because they like that attitude of, I just call one phone number and they take care of this they stuff. Do it. So homeserve.com. Go to toltramoniteam.com where you can find all our recommended pros and vendors. Just click the radio tab and you will find them all right there. Hey folks, right now, if you are anywhere near Richardson, Texas, we want you to type into your navigation or into your phone 300 North Coit Road. 300 North Coit Road. Uh, come visit the Richardson area Young Life Garage Sale. All proceeds from all sales, literally that we don't even, we don't pay even any expenses. Donors do that. 100% of all the money generated from selling things at this garage sale will go to send kids to Young Life Camp to hear the gospel, to hear that Jesus loves them, that all the fear and anxiety and complexity of their life right now uh, will not last, uh, has been paid for. All, all the regret that they're dealing with, they're carrying around, uh, has been washed white. Uh, so we would love for you to stop by the Richardson Area Young Life Garage Sale and grab something, grab some things. Uh, we got all sorts of stuff, televisions, couches, uh, sports equipment, all sorts of really cool stuff. Swing by. From the look of the uh, picture online, you can also buy some globes. You could buy a lamp, <laughs> uh, a bird cage, and maybe even a teapot. Listen, it's it's midday, it's mid afternoon Saturday, folks. Some of that stuff could be gone. We got we got we got a run on the garage sale, no doubt. This is weekend two. It will be over tomorrow, uh, the rest of the afternoon today, and then uh, the one to five tomorrow, if I'm correct. Yeah, yep. one to five tomorrow. Richardson area Young Life Garage Sale, three hundred North Coit Road. Hey, if you need something, come on out. Hey, if you don't need something. Come on out anyway, because we're sending area high school kiddos to Young Life Camp to hear the gospel, to be uh, breathed into a breath of fresh air, breath of fresh air, uh, that um, the burden should be light. Our students are carrying all kinds of absurd burdens. We're sending junior high, mostly high school, and teen moms to hear that they are loved and cherished and valuable just the way they are. Help us do that. 300 North Coit Road, Richardson Area Young Life Garage Sale. Uh, we may head that way right after this, so we might see you over there. Young Life Garage Sale, come check it out. All right, folks, uh, if you have questions about selling a home or buying a home in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, we want you to call us, 214-310-0008. You can text 214-310-0008. You can find us online, Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team at toddtremonteam.com. Now, the, the last thing I've got before we run to the break, and we'll come right back after the break with lots more great information on selling, is if you want to know what your house would sell for right now, or you want to know what it's worth, or how much equity you have, or what your home value has done kind of trending-wise over the last month, go to our website, toddtremonteteam.com, and just click on the home valuation button right there on the homepage. It'll work on mobile or desktop, doesn't matter. Go to toddtremonteteam.com, click the home value button on the homepage, and you can find out what your home would sell for right now, what the value has done all year long, how it's moved up or down or sideways. You can find out, check your equity. You can update the data on there. You can even get a cash offer for your house right away, or you could ask, what uh, our team, the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, could sell it for. All that at the click of a button at toddtremontiteam.com and just click the home valuation button. Are, are people crazy for selling their homes right now? Have they have they missed the top of the market? Are they, are they selling at the wrong time? These are the questions we get all the time, every single day in our office at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. We get people calling off radio show, radio ads, YouTube channel. They're reading the books that we've written. They're going to events. They're talking to their neighbors. They're seeing our signs in yards or a million other things. And they're literally asking, am I crazy to sell my house right now? Would it be dumb to sell my house right now? I want to, but I'm not sure I'm going to because I've got all these ideas and messages and other people's input and opinions and headlines rattling around in my head. And I just don't know if this is a smart decision. Let me speak directly to you. 
if you are in a situation like that or a friend or a family or a loved one wants to sell their home or even needs to sell their home right now, but they're not out of fear, let me speak directly to you. This is a great time to sell your home. There are so many factors to every single real estate market in the history of real estate markets that it's almost impossible to say this is the best time or this is a good time or this is not a good time. But what I can tell you is that many, many, many factors of today's real estate market in Dallas, Fort Worth are still incredibly positive for home sellers. In many areas of Dallas, Fort Worth right now, our housing inventory, meaning the number of homes available for sale, for sale are, is still very low. Relative to the normal historical market trends, we still are in statistically and logically a seller's market, right? Buyers are still having to compete on great homes that are priced well, that are in good condition, that are in great areas. Um, and there are buyers in the market. Now, is it the best time in the history of the world to sell a house? That's debatable. Probably not. Um, you know, 18 months ago was gangbusters. But here's the thing. Your home is still probably worth more today than it was 18 months ago. But 18 months ago, home values were going up a percentage and a half every month. And right now they might be going up two tenths of a percentage every month. But it's worth more today than it was a year and a half ago. When people confuse that, right? People see and hear the media and the news saying that, you know, home prices are not increasing at the, at the amount or that it's not increasing at all. And the not at all is just not true. But when people hear that they're not increasing at the same rate as they were last year, people then go to, well, therefore they're decreasing. Right. And that's just not, not true. And, and there's statistics out there that like home sales are down. Well, what does that mean? Right. Lately, it's meant the number of total sales is less than it was this time last year, which, by the way, for this year, this month, that probably will not be true. There will probably be more May home sales in 23 than there was in 22. But we'll see. That may not happen. Obviously, we got to get to the end of the month. But my point is, people hear, to your point, what you were just saying, people hear home sales are down and they hear home values are down. That's yeah. not what's being said. Um, that doesn't mean that there are not parts of the country where home values aren't down because there definitely are. Uh, but in the Dallas Fort Worth area, if there's a few pockets where values have gone down a bit, they're not really staying down. But if anything, they're probably about exactly where they were 18 months ago. And again, my point is you haven't lost any ground that this is not a bad time to sell a home. People also look at what their, their home would sell for, right? And they right. might say, Hey, but in, February of last year, you know, I could have sold my home for six seventy five, and you're telling me I can only sell it for six twenty five right now. Yeah. So therefore, my home value has gone down fifty thousand dollars. It's like that's that's not how the math. Yeah, works. that that is one way to think about it, and you can certainly think about it that way. But home equity is not exactly our money until right. we capture it, right? It's like owning a stock; it's up and down, up and down, up and down every single day. We don't think of it that way. What well, homes sell for what the market will bear, right? And back in February, people were bidding. Because interest rates were so low, people yeah. were going 70, 80, 100 over. And so that's what the market was bearing. And that is the primary difference in today's market versus that one. Interest rates are higher. So buyer demand is not as much. There's still plenty, but there's not like this ravenous horde of people fighting over them. So now more than ever, home buyers and especially home sellers must, absolutely must have an expert. You can't go with your knucklehead nephew that just got his real estate license out of a Cracker Jack box. And people used to say, well, I'm going to use my nephew. I'm going to throw him a bone. I'm going to do, I'm going to hook him up. I'm going to do a favor. As if your job when you're selling one of your largest assets is to do someone else a favor for thousands of dollars, knowing that they are not a full-time excellent professional. And no one would do that with almost any other asset ever. But in this market, people are now realizing they're calling us all the time. Hey, I know you guys have a system. I know you have a process. I know some homes on my street aren't selling quite like they used to be. Can we talk about selling my home? Which is the wise thing to do, to look for an expert at a time where results are not as certain. We're still guaranteeing the results. We will sell your home over the average price and under the average time, guaranteed. You can go to toddtramonteam.com. You can call 
0008. Now, I want to talk to you about PMR roofing. You might have gotten hail in the last few weeks. So a lot of our area did get hail in the last few weeks. Even if you feel like you were on the edge of it, you got some high winds, some heavy rain, you're not sure if you got hail or you're not sure if you got really big hail, careful with an insurance claim. I want you to reach out to PMR Roofing. You can trust them. They are local. They were here before the storm. They'll be here after the storm. These are good people. You can look them in the eye and shake their hand. I've done so many times. I know Jordan and Quentin and the gang over there very, very well. I want you to reach out to Jordan at PMRRoofing.com. You can email them, Jordan at PMRRoofing.com, or you can call their office, 214-957-0839. If you remember that, congratulations on your memory. You can go to their website, PMRRoofing.com, PMRRoofing.com. Ask for our buddy Jordan Collins. Tell him Todd Tremonti sent you, and find out if your roof is in a condition for you to successfully make it through the summer where we do get some very intense heavy thunderstorms and you don't want those coming down on a damaged roof that could lead to massive repairs needed inside your home because you didn't take care of the roof on top of your home pmrroofing.com got asked by a, a listener last week uh man i listen to your show all the time and uh, I always forget to write down who it is that yeah. you recommended for home warranty in this situation, which yeah. is HomeServe, by the way. Uh, and I just, he was like, "How? who is it? And I was like, go to toddtremonteteam.com. So I'm telling everybody now, toddtremonteteam.com. Click the radio tab and you will find all of our recommended pros and vendors. Yeah, we, we are here to be a, a value, to be an asset, to be an advocate for DFW real estate people. Right, And what I mean by real estate people is people who own and want to own real estate as your home, as an investment, uh, for, for the benefit of the community, whatever. There's a lot of mixed messages. There's a lot of crazy headlines. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot of manipulation. We are here to tell you what is true and resource you to make great decisions for you and your family and your finances. Obviously, if we are the right fit for you and you're the right fit for us, we'd love to earn your trust and help you sell your home buy a home, invest in real estate, build wealth, protect your family, have a safe place to rest and enjoy life and entertain and all the beautiful things that a home really is. It's way more than bedrooms and bathrooms and square footage and bricks and sticks. It is the place where life happens for many of us, for most of us, for all of us really. And we wanna help you enjoy it, love it and be purposeful there. So if we can help you in any way, reach out to us, 214 310 Zero 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 eight. You should have that saved in your cell phone by now. 214-310-0008 or go online to toddtremonteteam.com. And if you ever forget anything that you hear on the show or even on the podcast, you can call or text 214-310-0008. And anytime, day or night, you can go to toddtremonteteam.com and everything we do is accessible from toddtremonteteam.com. You can find out your home value, you can fill out the scorecard and see if you're ready to buy. You can search every home available on the market publicly from every agent in DFW. All of that's on our website. Uh, you can find out what your house is worth. You can get a cash offer on your house. You can connect with one of our agents uh, and about 87 other things, including get the contact information for all the experts and pros we talk to on the show. Uh, you can get access to previous shows, hundreds of educational real estate videos, all of that is available for you at no cost whatsoever at toddtremonteteam.com. If you can't spell it, just Google it and it'll help you find it. toddtremonteteam.com. We're focusing on the sellers today. So I do want to emphasize again that if you don't know what your home is worth, if you're curious about the valuation of it, if you're wondering what it might rent for, if you think about renting it out, or if you want to get a cash offer, you can do all of those things. Go to toddtremonteteam.com click the home valuations tab and uh, you'll run through just a very brief little Q and a session. And then you'll be able to get uh, all of that information at the end. It'll automatically pull up your house info. You can change it if it's not accurate for some reason. Otherwise it's like less than a minute. Yep. And then you have sale price and home, home value trend data and equity data. And it's, it's actually a really fun, cool tool. We were talking to some of our radio talent, radio DJ friends uh, on all sorts of stations around here lately saying, hey, have you, have you put your house in there yet? 
And a couple of them were like, yeah, dude, this is so cool. I've been telling all my friends, like everywhere they go, they're like, hey, fill this out and check out all this info you can get. Um, so you should check it out. Go to TatramaniTeam.com, click Home Valuation, and uh, play around a little bit. You'll have some fun. What are, what are three questions? Maybe go reverse order, three, two, one. Uh, three questions that people should be asking if they're thinking about selling their home in order to make a decision on who it is that they're going to hire to actually sell their home. Three oh, questions. Absolutely. Um, you probably should ask more than three, but we'll try to give you the top three here or three ver three of the top questions. Here's the deal. Um, people have put real estate agents in a mental category of like friend from the neighborhood or cousin Ricky or whatever. Meanwhile, what, what would you do to determine a wealth advisor, financial advisor? What would you do to choose an attorney or a CPA? If you had a complicated accounting structure, what would you do to choose that kind of professional, right? My guess is you would not choose just someone who lives two doors down or someone who's on the PTA at your kid's school. Not that those are the worst reasons, but you probably would not choose a financial advisor, a CPA, an attorney, or a doctor based on something that simple. You would ask some really challenging questions and make sure that they have the expertise that you need. However, when it comes to real estate agents, we have found in 20 something years of doing this, that people typically don't ask those questions. So here are the questions I would ask you to, uh, I would encourage you to ask or find out. Are they full time? The vast majority of real estate agents are not full time. I would not want to be in the middle of an $800,000 real estate transaction, call or text my agent, and not get a call back for like two days because that person is at their job or, you know, not be able to get a, a response when I really need one for eight hours because that person is at work because this isn't their work, right? So are they full-time? I think you, if you're going to do buy or sell a home or invest in real estate with a professional agent, which I think you should, they need to be full-time. Now, the other question is, um, are they alone? Now, I'm not saying an agent can't be great as a solo agent, but who are their vendor partners? Who are their team members? Who are their administrative help, their marketing help, their technology support? Let me be very clear. I'm not saying a solo agent can't be great if they have those vendors that they work with on a day in and day out basis. Our model is a team model where those people are on staff working all day. So our clients have a dozen or more people all working for their benefit, but are they alone is question number two. And then number three is what is your track record, right? So track record is a little bit more complex system is, you know, what have you done for others and how is probably really the most important question, but it might be number four or three A. What is your track record? Do you have a proven, consistent, repeatable track record? Like, have you been successful over and over and over again, right? People hire the best attorneys because they win in court over and over and over and over again. They hire the best accountants because they have a track record of either saving their client money or protecting them from liability or structuring things in a way that is financially advantageous. You know, they go to the best doctors because the doctors get the best results. They solve the problem. Uh, they restore health. Uh, they alleviate the, you know, the stress and burden on the patient. The same should be true of your real estate professional. Do you have a track record and, and, and how? What is it that you do over and over again? What's your process? What's your marketing system? Uh, what's your transactional system? Who all is involved? If you're on vacation, is there anyone there to help me? Because people should be able to take a vacation. If you get sick or your kiddo gets sick, who's there to help me, right? So are you full-time? What is your track record? How did you do that? How do you do that? And are you alone? Now, there's a lot of other questions you could ask, but those are some really, really, really good questions to help you get a feel for is the real estate agent or broker that you're talking to or considering the right agent or broker for you. Now, listen, I would be foolish not to say that I think the very best real estate agents and brokers in all of DFW are the agents that I've been able to hire and train and equip and invest in and meet their families. One of our team members had a baby this week. It was, it was amazing. We were super, super excited. So I love these people, not just because they're mine, but because they're incredible. And because they're incredible, I've done everything I can to make them mine. And by mine, I just mean work here in our office. So 
I don't think while you're interviewing people and you're asking those questions, I strongly advise that you call 214-310-0008 and ask those questions to our people, to the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. Or go to ToddTremontiTeam.com, click any button, fill out any form, uh, and ask one of our full-time, fully dedicated, world-class expert agents if they have a track record, if they're working alone, um, and those other questions. I think you'll be really pleasantly surprised uh, to work with a full-time dedicated expert with an incredible track record, a wonderful system, and a support system that can help you sleep a little bit better at night. And believe it or not, have some fun while you're buying and selling a home. Go to ToddTremontiTeam.com. That's ToddTremontiTeam.com. Hey, if you're in the Richardson area right now, I want you to turn that car towards 300 North Coit Road. 300 North Coit Road. And go check out the Richardson area Young Life Garage Sale where there's actually still some really good stuff left. We don't take junky stuff at this one. There's still some really, really good stuff that we are selling to put all the proceeds towards sending Richardson area junior high, high school students and teen moms to Young Life Camp to hear that Jesus loves them and that the mistakes they've made, the problems they have, the fear and anxiety that they're wrestling with has been paid for, that that burden can be carried that God loves them, and that there is a purpose, eternal purpose, to their life. Help us send kids to camp to hear that message. Richardson Area Young Life is loving and serving on kids all over Richardson all year long. But in the summertime, we get to take kids to the mountains. We get to take kids to witness the glory of God. And we would love for you to help us by buying a golf club or a couch or a television or a radio or a record player or all the crazy cool lamps and all the things that they have at the Richardson Area Young Life Garage Sale at 300 North Coit Road in Richardson right now for the rest of the day today and tomorrow from 1 to 5, and then that's it. It's over. So grab some friends, take the kiddos over there, give them a little bit of allowance, let them shop around a little bit, and know that even if you don't need anything, go grab something because that money is going to help kiddos hear about the love of Jesus and get out of their context here in Richardson and go someplace incredible and have the week of their life, the best week of their life. 300 North Coit Road, Richardson Area Young Life Garage Sale. Support area kiddos with uh, with us. Appreciate you for doing that. Okay, listen, when it comes to title work, when you sell a home or refinance a property or change ownership of a property, title company is gonna handle most of the uh, complexity and administrative and insurance elements of that. And it matters who you use. It absolutely matters who you use. Uh, Here's a hot take for you. Most title companies in our area are not all that great. Some of them are really, really bad. But you know who's amazing? Republic Title. RepublicTitle.com. I want you to check it out. If you're buying, selling, investing, refinancing, transferring the deed or title to a property ever, I want you to check out RepublicTitle.com and tell them Todd Tremonti sent you. If I'm buying or selling... I am doing everything I can to make sure Republic Title is the office that is closing out my transaction. Check them out online at republictitle.com. <clears throat> now, uh, producer Courtney, Peanut, Classy Courtney, Full Price Courtney, I don't know. We, we, we need you guys to vote on what producer Courtney's nickname should be. We're still trying it on like eight months into this thing, whatever it is. Um, we need you to vote. Instagram, go to at Todd Tremonti Realtors. Facebook, just find Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team or DFW Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti. There's a long title. Find us somewhere on social media. You can say whatever you want to say, but all we need is a nickname. So you can go Classy Courtney, Full Price Courtney, um, Court or Peanut or Choose Your Own Adventure. Just give us, give us, give us any recommendation you have. We'll tally those votes. We'll let you know how it goes. Uh, but let us know what you think producer Courtney's nickname will be. Now, for now, we're just going to go with your family name, the, your given name, as my mom would say. Um, Courtney, do you think it would benefit our listeners if if we just ran through really quickly what our seven steps are, what, what the seven elements of our proprietary marketing system are, or is that? No? I think this would be so helpful. Okay, then we'll do it. We'll do it. And if it doesn't go well, we'll blame it on producer Peanut. It would be my fault. Okay. Here's the deal. We have a seven-step proprietary marketing system. There's about 400 plus 
parts of these things. But number one, we believe that a pre-inspection is wildly valuable, totally worth it, and puts you in a very, very strong negotiation position. So have that home pre-inspected before we put it on the market. Number two, we absolutely believe in staging a home for sale. And the way we define staging is quite a bit different from kind of the traditional retail staging model of putting fake fruit out and just moving the furniture around. So we believe in staging that it will wildly increase the value of your home or at least the sales price of your home. Number three, we believe photography is the most important technology involved in the entire marketing and sales process of selling a home. So we want to get really great world-class photos. And there's actually a lot of strategy around what we photo from what angles and how many photos we get of which things and what order we display them online. All of these things can help make or break what your home sells for. Number three, actually number four, we go crazy on marketing a home. I could spend hours talking about marketing a home, but we market every single house that we market on for sale three different ways. And we're marketing from the perspective that um, we're looking for the buyer, not a buyer, meaning not someone that would buy the home, but someone that must buy the home. That feels like if I don't get this home, my life will be incomplete. We wanna market the home in a way that we can find that person. Number five, we believe in creating scarcity around a home, right? We want the buyer to feel like if I don't get this one house, there is no other house like it. There's no other opportunity like it. I have just missed the opportunity forever and ever. And there's a ton of strategy around how we do that, how we create a market of one. Number six is urgency. And that is making sure that buyers feel a sense of urgency. I need to buy this house quickly before somebody else gets it. I need to buy this house quickly before it's gone. I need to buy this house quickly before I have missed this opportunity forever. Again, layers and layers and layers of strategy underneath that idea and the negotiation. We don't even define the word negotiation the same as our industry. There's actually no negotiation training required to get a real estate license, which is a joke. I mean, it's sad. It's like a bad joke, right? We train on it nonstop. We've gone through the Harvard courses. We've gone through the FBI training courses and all this stuff. Our people are world-class negotiators. And it doesn't only mean what you think it means. It does not only mean working out the price and the terms in the contract. It is way, way more than that. Those are our seven steps. I don't have time to go into any more detail. If you're thinking about selling a home, you're crazy if you don't at least call us and ask those questions. 214-310-0008, 214-310-0008, or online at toddtremonteteam.com. We're shutting it down from today here in the Keen Landscaping Studios. If you're thinking about landscaping, you got to go to keenlandscaping.com. We'll be back next week with more. Check out the podcast, DFW Real Estate Weekly, on all your podcast apps.